Hi guys, welcome to Andaz. Andaz is an inspirational show brought to you from the United States. Every week we have a brand new topic and great new guests. This week we talk all about your happiness. We talk to experts from around the country in different realms about how to be happier. Our first guest is Dr. James Dotty, a neurosurgeon from Stanford. He has actually founded the Center for Compassion at Stanford University and talks to people like Amma, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, and the Dalai Lama. His research has proven that compassion and kindness can actually change your brain. Let's go see how it's done. As an entrepreneur, I thought that what I wanted most was money. You believe that money gets you influence and gives you control. It was a delusion. I had made commitments to charity and I wanted to live up to them. So the only asset that I had was stock in a company that had yet to go public of which I had been the CEO. I chose voluntarily to give that away to live up to that commitment. That company went public at $1.3 billion and it allowed me to give tens of millions of dollars to charity, but what it really did was it liberated me. This is probably only venue where you have actually heard that <laughs> this is the secret. <laughs> <laughs> where do I go from there? Each of us has a backstory, and my backstory starts with childhood. Uh, my father was an alcoholic, my mother was an invalid. As a result, uh, uh, I saw a number of public institutions, and I also uh, saw how people are treated who are poor. Because oftentimes you would think people who have nothing would be grabbing onto everything, and the people who have everything would be sharing. And frankly, that has not been my experience in many cases. People will tell you what to eat, what to wear, where to sit, where not to sit. If that's okay with you, it's fine. I'm saying you cannot choose to go in this direction and long to go in this direction. Every system will have its negativities. You, you don't have the money <laughs> So at age 13, I walked into a magic shop, and uh, the owner wasn't there, but his mother was there. And her and I began a conversation, and in that conversation, she said, um, I really like you, I'm here for six weeks. If you come back every day, I'll teach you something that I think could be very helpful to you. During that period of time, she taught me a meditation practice Wow. Combined with the power of positive thinking, combined with the visualization technique, that took me from a attitude of limited to no possibilities to one of unlimited possibilities. And it was truly through that interaction that changed my perspective and allowed me ultimately to go to college, go to medical school, become a neurosurgeon, become a successful entrepreneur and philanthropist, and ultimately uh, to create this center to explore this issue of compassion and what are the drivers that make people care for others. So all I would say is life is a journey from an ugly, I don't know, to a beautiful, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're here and we want to spread compassion and you've found, I mean, you've actually scientifically proven how the act of compassion or kindness can actually alter the state of your brain discuss that because I think that's fascinating. We know that people have a genetic capacity or mm. potential for compassionate behavior. Mm. The advantage of being compassionate though that we know is that it has a huge effect on your mental state, your creativity, your productivity, and uh, ultimately your longevity. We could get rid of almost all pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. if we did three things. <laughs> One is exercise, right. two is diet, and three is this type of a practice. And, uh, Can you imagine it's just that easy? Well, obviously <laughs> it's not that easy because the problem, of course, is changing human mm -hmm. behavior. But at the end of the day, every one of us wishes that our life has had meaning, has had impact. Mm -hmm. Get you there is recognizing the suffering of other people, intervening in that suffering, and by doing so, it not only helps those individuals and enriches their lives, it ultimately has an equally enriching effect on your own life. Well, I just wanted to commend you because I know at one point in your life you um, made a good amount of wealth, 
and you gave it all away. You donated it to charity. I gave away stock in this company that I had run. That single act has been one of the most important and fulfilling acts I've ever done in my life. And it has allowed me to develop relationships with extraordinary people. Uh, it has allowed me to travel the world and promote kindness and compassion. And uh, it's just uh, made me a much more thoughtful uh, person. I congratulate you and commend you on your work. And I'm going to have to go through your program now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you. So I'm very, very happy, you see, like you and these people really now opening uh, in, in, in science world. Yes, there is certain thing which we not yet explore fully. I think that's very good. Thank you, James. I just love how you said our purpose in life should be about alleviating suffering and we can all live a life full of compassion and kindness. And next, we hear from Vivek Vadva, our favorite intellectual for his tip of the week. Let's go take a look. Whenever I focused on making money, whenever I focused on making myself succeed, I've achieved some success, made some money, but it never led to happiness. Happiness comes from making other people happy, from making them succeed, from making them prosper. The richest people I know are also the most miserable people I know. The happiest people I know are the ones who've always done for others, who've given back and who will leave a legacy, who will leave people grateful to them for what they've done, how they've helped them. So my message to you is give back. It will be good for your soul and you will always gain from it. Unbuzz, brought to you by Intellius. Live in the know. Visit www.intellius.com. Ushaji, your spiritual advisor. Call now or visit ushaji.org. Trivium Corporate Solutions. For the life of your business, Trivium CS.